okay now let's see how to make crude operations right okay let me go in the java sorry let me go into the database module and here let me have or let me enable the java 8 right let me enable what java 8 this build dot gradle and into the default config tag or default config closure not tag we are going to have jack options jack options and you can say enable true and here compile options source compatibility 1.8 space and target compatibility 1.8 you can sync your project this thing now what I'm going to do is that let's create some or let's get references of your button so here what I'll do is that private what you can say void insert right then private void update private void delete and private void display so these are our few methods that we are going to use remember that every method is going to use one instance of helper DB helper that we have created single instance of DB helper so let me make it at class level private DB helper and say helper so it is an activity level right so here helper is equals to new helper first parameter is expecting is context second parameter is a DB name my DB name of the database is the my DB third parameter is the cursor factory how you want to fetch the data that is going to be decided by the cursor factory if you say that I want to use the default one if you say that I'm going to use the default one provide it null and in the very rare cases you are going to provide your own cursor like this see new cursor factory like this and version would be the one likewise so this is in the very rare cases see here from here you are returning the cursor this is a cursor factory which will give you the object of cursor if you think that no it should be default then you don't need to provide the implementation of the cursor factory right you can say null I am going to use default one whatever Android is going to provide me I am going to provide that one over here so here you got the helper object okay then just find view by id r dot id dot btn insert dot set on click listener right then on click listener and here we we can write one method say let's create one method reference this colon colon clicked or click see over here right now here uh, what I'm going to do is that if view dot get ID is exactly equals to r dot ID dot btn insert then call the method insert if view dot get ID is exactly equals to r dot ID dot btn update then you can call update over here right if view dot get id is exactly equals to r dot id dot btn delete then you can call delete method if view dot get id 
is exactly equals to r dot id dot btn display then you are going to call something called as a display method like this so here you had the setup of your buttons which is a little bit lengthy work but don't worry this btn insert here also you can say btn update then btn delete and btn display right on the click of this you are going to call this method if you don't know what I'm doing over here this is typically Java 8 if you don't know how to work with the Java 8 kindly see my another videos for the Java 8 how to integrate Java 8 and the event listeners in the Android using Java 8 you can go to that video okay insert I want to insert what I want to do I want to insert to the database how we are going to do it do that right see now how we are going to insert SQLite database I need to have reference of DB I need to have reference of SQLite database in the write table format I want to write something to the SQLite is equals to helper dot get writable database SQLite database DB is equals to helper dot get writable database see I am immediately closing it so so that I, I will not forget afterwards and in between these two lines you are going to code whatever you want to type about the writing now see DB dot insert can you see you will find one method so this is kind of semi ORM model here you don't need to write the queries but you can insert some data into the table right now here first thing it is asking you is a table name second thing it is asking you right so it is null column hack means what that SQLite doesn't accept empty row you cannot provide empty data to the SQLite you cannot insert empty row or you cannot have empty row if your row is empty which column should be null that it is asking you if you are inserting empty row means nothing is there still you are inserting empty row is not allowed in the SQLite if row is empty what column should I consider as null if you say that null over here means you are saying that all the values are necessary there wouldn't be anything or there, there wouldn't be empty and third parameter is something called as content values content values is nothing but what you can say column to value mapping is nothing but the content values column to value mapping name of the column and the value column to value mapping is described by the content value data structure you can call it as one object which is implementing the parcel label this class is used to store a set of values that the content resolver can process we'll see what do you mean by content resolver at the time of content providers right but this is can you see it is a map of string and the object it holds the actual values and the column mapping okay what is the name of the database say my DB right my table name of the table you will find inside the helper class see here my name my table would be name of the table here my table would be name of the table null saying that nothing is empty over here I need to pass each and every value and this is nothing but the column to the value mapping see now values dot put values dot put name of the column and its value what would be the name of the column name of the column is my name who's who is having type of text so my name which is coming from edit text so for that I'll write some utility methods like this see private 
string get my name right then here you can have edit text right like this find view by id r dot id dot edt my name my name dot get text dot to string you are going to return this from this method get my name and you can say private string get or private int get my age same about this so I'm I'm pretty much doing over here declarative programming my age right and it should be integer dot integer dot parse int inside this this much right integer dot parse int so what's happening parse int okay dot get text so this is over here this is over here right then I think we need to have one more bracket like this in line I have written everything in line I have written everything in line okay so integer dot parse int and you would be having this much data from edit text right so simply here you are calling if you want to get the name get name get my name and values you can say dot put my age and here you can see get my age that's it insert right so what I'll do is that quickly I'll write display method right I'm not going with the SQLite tool SQLite 3 tool over here right I'm sticking to the Android programming that tool you can use to create the databases right but presently I'm not going to use the tool so if you have want to get the data that I have inserted over here and I want to see that data what I'll do is that I'll write the code over here for fetching the data so here I would be needing SQLite database you can say SQDB or say simply DB is equals to helper dot get read 